this frame picture frame from someone and it was free it was from my older lady and what I did was I went ahead and I spray painted it and I'm just prepping everything for um because I need some artwork on my walls also I got this piece of canvas right here and I got it from Hobby Lobby's it was in a pack of I think two or three and it was for like I think it was about three dollars wasn't expensive but also for this project you're gonna need some painters tape some Mod Podge some glitter of your choice a foam brush a pencil a ruler and the first thing you're gonna do is open this take the plastic off and get it ready to be um designed okay also you're going to need some paper that you don't mind just you know putting up under this artwork so that it won't um the glitter won't get everywhere so first you need to um prep your area and i'm going to prep it like this put everything together Put this on top of it. So, this is first how I prep my area. And then next, you're going to take the painter's tape and you're going to put a design on here, whichever way you want to put it on there. So, I'm going to tape down my design and then I'll, I'll show you what it looks like before I start with the Mod Podge and glitter. Okay, so this is the pattern that I'm going with. I like simple stuff. But what I did was I took the pencil and the ruler and I measured it and made sure it was the same number in between the whole thing. So that when you get ready to cover it, it won't not be uniform. It'll be it all flow together. So this is what I did. So now what I'm going to do is take my Mod Podge. And I'm going to take some of my Mod Podge and I'm using this brush right here and I'm going to put it all over my board and I'm going to work in sections. And the first thing I'm going to do is make sure that I use enough. And after I get done with the section, I like to go ahead and add my glitter. So. And this is the first step. So I'm going to do the whole board like that. Then I'll show you what it looks like. So this is the paint, well, the glitter and Mod Podge all mixed up. So what I'm going to do is let this sit for a few minutes so it can process not long because the painter's tape and all that stuff will get stuck on the board. So I'm going to let it sit for a few minutes, probably like five, ten minutes, and then going to take some more Mod Podge and I'm going to go on top of it top of this so it'll stay and I'll show you the results afterwards okay so after about 10 minutes I lift it up and of course I started getting all the extra off and I'm just going to show you a little piece I already lifted up but um this was some pieces that I missed so after you lift it up and once you shake it a little bit and the excess glitter come off you need to see what pieces like what area you missed and if you missed an area put some more Mod Podge on it and then put the um, glitter on the part where you missed so a lot of times I never get the corners the right way so I have to go back through it with the Mod Podge and put it on 
So I'm not going to make make it perfect. But, um, and after that, you can recycle the glitter. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Sometimes I vacuum it up. Like, right now I got it all over the floor. But anyway, it's easy to vacuum up. But anyway, after you do this, <clears throat> like I said, you're going to take the, um, the Mod Podge and you're going to go over it again. And when you go on top, it's just going to lock in the part. It's going to lock in. It's going to be thick. So, but it's going to lock the glitter in. And it's not going to dry like this. It's going to actually dry with the glitter showing but after you do that you do the whole thing and after you do this part make sure that you go ahead and take your um painter's tape off because you don't want it to get stuck on here because it'll be hard to get off and sometimes you'll just get pieces off of it so now i'm going to go through the whole thing and cover it up like this and then i'm take my painter's tape off and i'm gonna let it dry for about an hour and then I'm going to come back and show you what it looks like. Okay, so this is what it looks like once it's dry. So now I'm going to put this inside the frame. And this right here, this cream part, is the back of the um, picture frame. 